So uh, last week, came to work, uh, opened my computer, read my emails, and one of them came from this company called ID for Motion. Um, they're specialized on um, making aftermarket instrument clusters for BMWs and Hondas, and they asked if I was interested to uh, give it a try to one of their products. So I looked into their website, and obviously, duh, of course, they're super cool. Um, so they overnighted an instrument cluster, coded program to my car. For uh, whoever doesn't know, my uh, vehicle is a 2011 X5 uh, with a six cylinder E70 body style. And we're just about to unbox the uh, item and we're gonna install it on the car. So this is the bezel. And this should be the screen. So this is the wiring harness. Uh, they even included a uh, rear view camera, which is pretty neat, but my car already has one. So I will not be using this one, but this is super cool um, if your vehicle doesn't have one. Um, obviously, it comes with the harness for the camera and everything, but the only harness I'm gonna need is gonna be this one right here to connect my new with uh, the new with the old one. So it does come with a screen protector. Um, honestly, I'm not really good at this, so I'm gonna try to do my best. I'm not a screen protector guy, so it took me a hot minute to do that. Uh, so now we're just gonna put the bezel with these tiny screws and I'm gonna remove the old one from the car. As I mentioned, this one is already programmed, uh, been specific to my vehicle. Um, I do have a check engine light on the car. It's a, a DMPL code. I did not clear it because I want to see how it's going to look on this one. So. The screws there, 5.5 millimeter socket. Not too long ago, I had this car at the BMW dealership. They had to dash out because I had to do a recall on the uh, passenger airbag. So. And then a few days later, uh, a few days ago, I got a phone call from the dealership saying, hey, uh, you're due for general maintenance if you're gonna, uh, if we can schedule an appointment. I'm like, um, I can do that at my shop. She started laughing. She's like, I'm sorry. So the instrument cluster, it's super easy. It's just one tiny connector in the back. Just put it right here and that's it. The 
Okay, so this is uh, pretty straightforward. It's uh, it goes only one way. Um, honestly, you're supposed to do some trimming right here, but with some uh, with some fitment, I was able to do that without even trimming. But you're just supposed to do a small uh, small trim right here and here in four corners. Like I said, I mean, I tried without it, so um, I think it's gonna be good. This one goes only one way too, so... Okay, um, installation is completed. I'm gonna put the uh, steering wheel where it was so I can see. Happy New Year. Hey, my check in July is on. And my seal bill light. Um, so it's in kilometers, so I need to find a way um, how to switch it back to miles there you go so here we go system device unit distance we're gonna go miles there you go much better very nice So on the appearances, um, there is different themes. There is a sport mode. Obviously my favorite one is having the M log on. So um, after changing from kilometers to miles and also I disabled the Happy New Year at the beginning, let's see what's gonna look like. <laughs> that is so cool. And the M logo is right there. So after scrolling through the menu, um, by far this is one of my favorite one. It's fully digital because it has your uh, fuel tank, miles per gallon. The most important on this new BMW is your temperature gauge. That they don't have it but it's on a hidden menu on the original one and also your alternator um, the RPM is super sensitive and then obviously um, you got look at that it's so cool and then you have the manual mode love it um, so I guess let's just go through some menus here okay so we're back on the main screen like we were earlier so um, we're gonna go through different appearances you can go to sport mode classic classic carbon white pristine to me that's way too white Looks like a Honda. This is pretty cool. Modern analog. Modern carbon. This one looks more like a uh, old Mercedes to me. And then modern pristine, still like a Honda. And then you have the cool classic blue, green. And this is classic orange too mimic the uh, BMW colors pretty much 
So, classic white, modern blue, modern green, modern orange, modern white. Now, this is beautiful, bright Austin. I like this a lot. So basically you have your fuel gauge here and you have, let's see after this one disappears after a second. I didn't hit save. So after this, um, you can switch to a different color. You got the bright azure, which is pretty cool. Bright blaze, I like that a lot too. Or bright devil, that's red. You got the mamba bright oxide so honestly man uh, sky's the limit you can you can pick whatever whatever you like um, this is pretty cool I might keep this one for a while and like I said you can customize it to whatever you like so then you have the night mode That's the trigger Hmm. Turn signal there, European style. So cool. High beams. Let's see what else can we find out here. Maintenance, oil level. Perfect. That's so cool. Tire pressure is set, reminders, that's the only reminders. Legal inspection, we don't have one here. Car service. We already did the service not too long ago, so. Brake fluid. Pads up front, pads on the rear. Engine oil. Pretty cool, look at that. Just unlock another feature. On the toggle readout, if you have it under on, you can have your uh, miles per hour um, right here, so under visibility. Optional gauges, um, I always like to have my coolant temperature in there. So um, I don't know if this one is gonna work or not. Find out. Shift indicator, visibility. Yep, have it like the M5s, the shift indicator. So uh, it pretty much you cannot, look at that. And we have the uh, torque too, and the horsepower. That's so cool. <laughs> So honestly, there is so many, many, many options in here. Um, I can stay here for hours, try to unlock them for you guys, but uh, you got to pick and choose whatever you like. Um, so for now, I'm gonna keep this one. We're gonna go for a test drive and see how uh, quick the gauges respond. And uh, um, yeah, I love it. It's this is beautiful it's unbelievable to purchase this there is a link on the description below um, the shipping was super 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 fast i was very impressed um, the customer service is unbelievable they will respond within a few minutes so um, there is not enough for me to say you know so the shipping label is from netherlands from europe um, like i said they it came in within two days so it's it's Unbelievable. I love it. So the company is called ID for Motion. And obviously when you navigate through their website, they have more than uh, just instrument clusters. They have uh, backup cameras, blind spot assistant. That's pretty cool. And the price is there pretty reasonable. So thank you for ID for Motion. Thank you so much for uh, hooking me up with this one. Even though it's bright today outside, the cluster is lit up really, really, really good. And like I said, the sky is the limit on this one to customize it. And it's super, super quick. There is no delay whatsoever. And 
then the temperature gauge just came up, uh, the outside temperature, the 62 degrees right now, and we're cruising at 65 miles an hour. I think I'm gonna keep this one for a while. I like it a lot. So, um, like I said earlier, you can customize it to whatever you like. This one gives you so many options. You can customize it to have so many gauges, so many digital stuff in front of you. Um, like I said, I like to have my um, miles per hour on digital. Uh, it's easier to read. And I cannot say enough. I, I cannot say enough about this. I'm super, super happy. The installation is super easy. Um, technically, you're supposed to trim, like I mentioned earlier, the four uh, corners here um, for the simple fact that going in is not bad, but if you want to pull it out, it's just going to be a little bit of a hassle. Um, but like, I'm not planning on pulling it out anyway, so um, yeah. Like I said, the installation is super easy. And why we have a Hyundai here? Super windy. Installation complete, super happy. Now let's go make some money. <laughs> 